influences. Wow. I started playing guitar when I was eight years old, and the first album I owned was The Singing Nuns. Then uh, The Beatles and The Monkees in the late 60s, 70s. Um, when I really got into guitar, I started getting into blues, and I started spending all my allowance on blues cutout records, all the ones that wouldn't sell, so they were cheaper. Um, so every paycheck, well, paycheck, every allowance day, I would go down to the record store and come home with an armful of blues records. Because once I figured out what those three chords were, I was in heaven. Jam along with B.B. King all day long. And then when, when I discovered Jeff Beck in, in my early or mid-teens, that was, that was it. And it's still it. Uh, I don't think he's been surpassed. Well, I know he hasn't, in my mind anyway. Um, it, it's just one of those rare talents that keeps growing. You know, a lot of those guys that, that grew up at the same time here, um, I won't name names, but they kind of sound the same as they did back in the 60s. <laughs> and Jeff, every record, he's always exploring. He's, he's got the attention span of a gnat. So he's always looking for new things. He listens to everything and is influenced by everything. <laughs> Jackson. Um, well, there are 10 years of memories, but one of them that stands out is when he shut down the Tokyo Disneyland so we could goof off for a couple hours. I mean, who else could do that? Ideally, when you solo, it's, it's like a conversation. And each phrase is like a sentence, and hopefully you put a few together that makes sense, and that's a paragraph. And then the entire solo is a story. Mm -hmm. 